And there we go. The zombies are flooding out of the tomb here. There's already so many troops dying in the middle of the battle there. Hey, what is going on guys? Bluestick Ape here, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Clay Soldier Battles. So guys, in today's episode, I'm doing the Zombie Apocalypse Clay Soldier Battle, and the poll I put out got so many votes for the Zombie Apocalypse Battle, so I just had to do it. And some of you guys might recognize this map from my other Zombie Apocalypse video, so this is pretty much just a part two to that video. But instead, we're going to be having even bigger battles and even more nexuses on this battle. And I got a really good suggestion from Darth Vader here, who had so many any ideas for the troops he said to do some juggernauts and some citizens and all those kind of troops and I've got the items here to make all of those troops that he said so those items should be really helpful when making the troops to fight off the zombie apocalypse so anyway in today's episode we're gonna be having two major battles the first one is gonna be in this little arena here that I've closed off and that's pretty much just going to be like the level one to this episode as there's only like a couple of zombies that are going to come out and eventually once we kill all those zombies and clear out those nexuses we're going to move on to the second area here which is going to contain the boss zombie and i'm going to actually add in some giant zombies so it's going to be a really hectic fight eventually and as always if you want your idea to be featured in my next video just drop a comment down below like darth vader did and i'll shout you out in my next video with the idea and your channel so anyways now enough talk we're going to be getting into the first battle here i've got 64 clay soldiers so anyway let's go ahead now and grab out the items from this chest thanks to darth vader for the ideas for the troops so he said give some give them some iron ingots to make them juggernauts and some sticks and stuff like that to give them to make them into police so that's really cool let's drop down the glass that's going to give them the glasses and now we can give them some leather armor and then just chuck in some other items as well Right, all the troops are loaded up now and are ready for battle against the zombies. So I'm going to go and turn on the clay nexus, which is going to start spawning in the zombie apocalypse. So there's the first spawner. We should start seeing some zombies come out now. Right, the first zombie spawner is on now. That's going to start spawning in some zombies here and they're already trying to attack me. So I gave myself a bow and arrow to hopefully help out my teammates in killing some of the zombies. But anyways, let's turn on the second one. This is a bit harder since it spawns in a lot more zombies than this other one over here. And it also has about 250 health, so that's going to be much harder to defeat. And I've also got my die here, which is going to allow me to lure my clay soldiers and get them to fight with the enemies. So let's go and break down these first couple of gates here. And now I can bring my troops to fight the zombies. All right, let's go now and break down these gates here. And my troops are going to start rushing out. They're already doing a really nice job against these couple of zombies here. But so far, they're only fighting off this normal wave. So I think we have really good numbers here. However, there are a lot of zombies back there to defeat. But so far, my troops are doing really well. They got their gravel that they're throwing. Thanks to Darth Vader for the idea to make snipers. And it looks like they're doing really well against them there. Those gravel that they're throwing are really nice. They're doing a ton of damage against the zombies. So this first wave is looking really good. There are heaps of zombies back here though. So I think my troops are going to need to group up a little bit if we're going to have any chance at taking out the zombies. And if my troops do die, they do turn into zombies. As you can see there, that light blue guy did turn into a dark blue soldier, which means he is now a zombie. So I'm not sure who's really winning here. I think the numbers are kind of even on both teams, but the Nexus is going to keep on spawning clay soldiers until my guys defeat them. So this is not looking too good for my team here. They're kind of getting surrounded by zombies. And I just turned into daytime there just so we can see it a little bit better. But I'm not really sure who's winning here. I think my troops are getting demolished by all the zombies. Yeah, it does look like there are a lot more zombies now compared to the regular dudes. So, so far, not so good. I'm going to check on this Nexus here. And did we defeat it? Yes, we actually did destroy that Nexus. So that should be pretty good when we go on for the second attack with reinforcements. So yeah, this is definitely very bad for my team here. I can see a lot of dark blue zombies, which means most of my guys have been killed and turned into zombies. So that Nexus there is still on 255 health. So that means we have not destroyed it. All right, so it turns out this first wave was not as easy as I thought it would be. My troops got completely demolished and all turned into zombies. But it looks like my zombies are actually attacking the green nexus. I wonder if they can actually take it out by themselves. So I think that even though my guys are turned into zombies, they're still defeating the enemy zombies nexus. So, and yes, it looks like my zombies are attacking the green zombies nexus. And as you can see here, the health is dropping really fast. So I'm just going to let my zombies do some work there. I might even spawn in some more guys just to distract them while my while my blue zombies do some good damage against that nexus but all they gotta do is buy these guys some time here and it looks like they have been successful in taking out 
the green nexus. There we go. It does say disabled and has been destroyed. So there we go. That is the first wave done. And now I can move on to the second wave, which is going to be much harder than that one. So we're going to spawn in a bunch of zombies in here, maybe even a couple giant zombies as well. So it's going to be really interesting second fight here. All right, guys, I'm now just preparing for the second wave. So I'm loading up my troops with a lot more armor than last time. I'm going to try and use up all of my resources in here. So hopefully we're going to have a much better army than the last round there. So let's drop down some flint and that's going to give them the sharpened stick. If you have a look on their sticks now, they do have a pointed edge, which is going to give them a little bit more damage. I think it gives them double damage. And of course, we're going to drop in some iron ingots to make some of them juggernauts. And that's going to give them a lot more health, I think. So there we go. They've used up all of their items now. And now we should be ready to attack the zombies. All right, guys, welcome back to round two now. And I've made a massive zombie horde inside of this tomb here. And as you can see, if I look inside, there is a bunch of zombies. So once I open these gates, it's going to be a massive swarm that will come out. And also over here, there is a giant zombie. Let's give him the ender pearl that he needs to turn into a zombie. So there we go. He is a zombie now and he's already trying to throw rocks at me. But anyway, here is the nexus that we're going to have to defeat in the first wave. All right, the enemy nexus is on now. And let's break down these gates here and let out my clay soldiers. And awesome, we already have a massive wave. All right, there we go. It looks like we've got them all lured now. They're all attracted to my lure. So now we can bring them over to fight the zombies. So this is the first wave here. They're not going to be really that difficult since they are just the regular zombies. But, and it looks like all of my troops are locked on, I think, to the zombies. And let's grab out my bow and arrow and start sniping some of these zombies off. Our troops are moving in now. They're taking out that first nexus, but now we have to move on to the tomb, which is going to be extremely difficult. Right, and first nexus is down, and now we can move on to the tomb. All right, the tomb is loaded up with zombies now, and we are ready to fight. So let's go ahead now and open up the gates and let all of the zombies out. So they should start seeing my troops here. And let's actually just break down the door to let some more zombies out. And there we go. The zombies are flooding out of the tomb here. There's already so many troops dying in the middle of the battle there. And wow, that is actually so many. I've got to start sniping these guys because they are going to do too much damage to all of my troops. So already, I think my troops are doing a pretty good job here. They're moving in on the zombies. And they're already taking out a bunch of them, as you can see here, by the, the massive amounts of green dead zombies. And I'm not sure how that giant zombie died. I might have to spawn him in a bit later. But my troops are doing a really nice job. Already, it looks like we've taken out about half of the zombies, judging by the amount of dead clay soldiers already. And I think so far, we're going to have a nice victory on our hands if, if the clay soldiers keep up the amount of damage. So as you can see, there's already some guys who have lost all of their armor and weapons there. And that means they've taken a lot of damage from zombies. Anyways, here it looks like some of my own guys have been turned into zombies. I've got to kill them as well before they start taking out my troops. So I think that is almost all of the zombies dead. There's a couple more over there. However, we do have to take out that giant zombie, which I'm going to respawn in because I think he did glitch out and die, unfortunately. Right, and this time I've spawned in three giant zombies. So this is going to be a really nice fight for all of my soldiers. And they're going to get put to the test when they're fighting all these zombies. Let's break down the gates here and let all of my soldiers in to attack. And let's patch that ground up there. And now they are moving in on the giant zombies here. The giant zombies are starting to punch back. And they do so much damage up close when they jump on them. As you can see, he hits, he hits like 10 guys at once with his jump attack. So my guys are going to have to start doing a lot of damage since they do have so much health. Look at that, he's actually shooting the zombies everywhere when he jumps on them. And he's actually hitting like 10 of them at once. So we might actually need some reinforcements here if my guys don't take out one of these zombies. Look, he's got a massive stick. He's doing a bunch of damage to my guys. And they actually get, they're actually actually getting killed really fast. So there we go. One of them actually did turn into a zombie. And he is crushing my guys. I'm going to need to bring some reinforcements in a second here. Since they are just killing so many of them at once. So we do still have some guys over there, I think. But apart from that, we are not doing too well against all of these giants. And there we go. The first giant did just get taken out. But unfortunately, we don't actually have that many troops left. We do have about 10 over here. And some of them have turned into zombies. But I think they're going to do the same amount of damage to the giant anyway. And there goes the second giant. He just got taken out by my blue zombies as well as some of my blue guys. And now there is only one green zombie left. And actually, I still have two guys in the base, four guys in the base here. And they're going to do some nice damage. And whoa, whoa, the zombie just jumped into my base now. And he's going to start breaking down the church if I'm not carefully. So let's try, I need to try and get him back outside where he's not going to do any damage. And it is not looking too good for my troops. So I think to finish off the battle, guys, I'm just going to have to snipe this zombie. And hopefully it does enough damage to kill him here. So let's just see. Let's go for a headshot there. And boom, yes, there we go. The giant zombie does get taken out by my bow and arrow shot. And that is a win for the blue guys there. 
However, we did lose so many of our troops. But anyway, guys, I really do hope you did enjoy this episode. And remember to drop a like down below if you do want to see more videos like this. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.